June, Jesus unlocks new experiences. A 30-day experience with the greatest person ever. Welcome to another episode of June. Jesus unlocks new experiences. A 30-day experience with the greatest person ever. And if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, I want to encourage you, look for them online and watch them and share them with your friends and your family and your loved ones. And let's get deeper into the things of God. Today I'm sitting by a well and wells are very important. They produce water. Uh, societies and communities that have wells thrive largely because of the wells that they possess. But beyond the refreshing power of wells is the fact that wells represent identity, a sense of ownership. The Bible tells us that once upon a time Jesus was hungry and on his journey he decided to rest by a well. Now when he rests by the well he encounters a certain woman. She's a Samaritan woman and Samaritans and Jews, if you know anything about them, they have very little in common, if anything at all. They didn't like each other for anything. Sometimes they would never even speak. And that was the situation. But interestingly, Jesus identifies with this woman and holds a conversation with her. Through the exchange, it becomes clear that this woman is what some would call a woman of easy virtue. She had been with five, five different men. And now, she was with a sixth one that was not even a husband. Well, I'm so grateful to Jesus because he becomes the seventh man in her life. He said this woman knew that she had a past, but Jesus knew that she had a future. And that's the same situation with you. You might feel so weak. You might feel like you're immoral. You might feel like you're broke. You might feel like an outcast. You might feel dejected. You might feel unworthy you might feel less of a person but Jesus identifies with you right where you are how you are but he doesn't see you just through the lenses of your past he sees you through the glory of the beautiful future he has for you and the Bible makes it very clear that this woman has a life altering mind shifting destiny changing encounter with Jesus and she becomes transformed she eventually believes his message and understands that he offers living water and she goes into the village, into her town and brings in all the men, some of whom she had been with. He said, God has the power to turn what you hate most about your past into what people will love the most about your future. God has the power to turn your worst mistakes into your greatest stakes upon which he hangs the truth of his love, his light, and his goodness. And I want you to know this today that we're again seated by a well, a well of opportunity, a well that can make a difference in your life. It's the well of salvation and the well of divine wisdom from which you can draw with joy to refresh your soul and to renew the minds of others you will encounter. He wants that well not to be on the outside, but to be a well on the inside from which springs life and joy and happiness and wholeness. And through you, families, nations, and generations will be transformed. I believe that for you, and I hope you do today. I'm trusting that times of refreshing are coming to you through those words, and that your life will never remain the same again. Now, whatever you do, stand in faith, grow in faith, and share your faith. Remember this, that Jesus unlocks new experiences. June, Jesus unlocks new experiences. A 30-day experience with the greatest person ever. Visit www.askdemi.com forward slash June.